Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for staying tuned. My name is Ife Omai, and I have with me the 11th evicted housemate from the Big Brother Niger house, the jack of many trades, the gentleman, the poker <laughs> Why are you laughing? The poker face game changer, the trendsetter, and uh, it's no other than Prince. Thank you so much for joining me. I feel so flattered right now. <laughs> I can see you didn't let me finish my, my interview, and that was just small. I could have gone on. Ah. But anyway, how are you doing? How I'm you doing Thank, great, I'm doing Thank great. you so much for joining me. All right, Thank so you for there, having me. Huh? Thank you for having me. Pleasure. It's a pleasure. So there's been a tweet, all right, on, on Twitter. Somebody tweeted and said, Tony Badge and Erica basically said, come home, boys. And that's what happened. And that's why they told you, packed your stuff and left the house. How do you feel about that, that I tweet? I haven't seen the tweet. Okay, but I'm telling you now, so how do you feel? Well, I haven't seen the tweet. I feel like you're ignoring that question, but I'll just I'll let it go. Second question is, before we dive into the women's saga, because I can see you're trying to avoid that, <laughs> did you build any strong bonds with the boys? And I'm asking this because since you've been out, your interviews have been with Kid Wire, mm. and it seems to be a really cool energy that we're seeing and people are loving, kind of like new content from outside the house. But in the house, was there anything like that with any of the housemates? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. I had uh, a couple of guys that I was uh, close to, definitely. Lakehorn, uh, Praise, Manega. We always said we're P-square. <laughs> um, uh, Tricky T, um, Neil. I don't know, kind of like halfway through the game, it looks as if like Neil found new friends, so mm. we weren't that close anymore. But Tricky T, Lakehorn, um, Praise, um, Mm. Okay, with the Kid Wire one, would you say that you're closer now that you're outside of the house? Yeah, mm. but uh, Kid and I were like, we had mutual respect for each other inside of, of the house. Mm. We get where, you know, like buddies, but like, hey, what's up, mm. kind of thing. Mm. You get, we weren't really that close, but coming outside of the house, uh, outside the house, we actually getting closer and closer. Mm. Yeah, we can see that. We're, we're all for it. I'm, here. I'm, all, I'm all for that. What are the odds that you would still be close friends with these people in the house, even five years from now? So it's important. The reason why we're asking this is because you really seem to be somebody that try to make peace in the house, right? Um, and obviously, your your set was really close. I remember the first two or three weeks, the audience kept saying, these people think they're here to play games because you guys are acting like family and that you've known each other for a long time. But I don't know how legit that vibe is. So from your perspective, do you really see yourself having true friends even five years from now? Yeah, of course. I mean, okay. um, the people that I'm close with inside of the house, uh, some of them that I just mentioned, I intend to keep my friendship with them you know, going forward. And I'm pretty sure that they feel the same way. Mm -hmm. And even if, um, like I, I, I remember always tell, telling them in the house, we don't all have to be friends. Yes, But it doesn't true. mean we should be enemies. We have a cordial relationship mm. where when we have business, we can run it and, you know, still respect each other for our different, um, for our differences. You yeah, know? I like that. Okay, so let's talk more serious business now. Is it the salon? Is it agriculture? Is it entertainment? Is it fashion? Is it interior design? Is it drama? What is it? Is it everything? Let's talk, let's talk, talk business. I mean, I feel like it's everything because those are, these are all the qualities that make me who I am, mm. you know. I, like I once said, um, or like I once read in the Bible, like we're all gifted differently. Mm. Uh, some God gave one, some three, some five. And it doesn't matter how many you're given. It mat what matters is what you use, how much you were given to do. And I won't be given five or three or one, and I'd, or three, and I decide to use just, just one. one so. After all, billionaires have multiple streams of income, so why can't I? I intend to be a billionaire someday. Okay, tell them. Okay, <laughs> let's just things up a little bit and play a game called Never Have I Ever. You know how it works, yeah? Ah. <laughs> Alrighty. Hmm. <laughs> ah, I'm off let's play okay. a game, put a finger down. Put a finger down if you have ever been turned down by your crush. Put a finger down if you have taken the fall for something you did not do. Put a finger down if you have been with someone you know is in a relationship. Put a finger down if you have sexted the wrong person. Put a finger down if you have been left on red. Put a finger down if you have ever snuck out of a restaurant without paying the bill. Put a finger down if you have ever lied about being five minutes away, but you know it will take longer. I think I should put like two fingers down. <laughs> for that one. Put a finger down if you have lied about your age, tribe or name to get ahead. Put a finger down if SARS has ever harassed you. Put a finger down if you have ever been caught while doing it. 
<laughs> Alrighty. See, I still have three. <laughs> you did well. You did well. I'm a good boy. <laughs> you are. So who, who left you on red? Who did that? Where are they? What's the phone number? Address. A couple I'm going of now. people have left me on red. I feel like that would change. Now. No, I don't know who's going to leave me on red now. Ah, we'll I'm see. pretty sure there are some people that will still leave me on red. I now. think so too, actually. <laughs> Thank you for playing that with me. Uh, okay. So, rumors have it, because okay. I'm, I'm pretty much the person I'll be telling you all the rumors are about you and helping me debunk it or, you know, legitimize okay. it. So, rumors have it that your brother is your manager. This is even before I met you. Okay. It's already on Twitter that you have a brother. Mm. So, I'm guessing that that's true, based okay. on what I've been seeing as well. How is it like working with family? And was that something you always wanted to, you know, keep it in the family? Or you're just worried about having external people? Do you know what I mean? I'm not worried about having external people. Okay. I mean, um... It's just the thing is, uh, I've always been working with family, you know, with the uh, interior decoration stuff that I talked about and the mm. furniture. Mm. It's um, owned by my sister, but oh, we run it like a family. Nice. You get, we've always been working, our family is very, um, we're very together, mm. you know, we we'll have this thing that we say, um, family first. Nice. You get, I like that. You know, so we always, we're always working together and, um, Nothing is going to ever come between us, whether business or any other. So thing. going forward, is he your manager? Are we going to be going to, you know, Princess Baba if wanna have an uh, appointment or something. I mean, you can do that, but like I said, I'm also open to working with other people as well. We mm -hmm. don't have any issues with doing that. Okay, all right. So in the house, it was kind of portrayed. I don't know if it was deliberate or not that you're pretty uptight. I mean, I watched you. I, I you were <laughs> serious <laughs> face. <laughs> but I know that the house has a weird impact on people. It's, yeah. it's a bizarre setting. You're not going out, yeah. you're not seeing other people. So was that genuinely in print? Or did the house kind of bring out the more serious side of you? Um, first of all, I'm not uptight. Okay. Okay, I'll just say I'm more laid back. I like to, you know, sit down and analyze things before I act. Right. And that's the way I am. Mm. You know, I'm not really a going out person. I, I can't remember the last time I by myself stood up and said I wanted to go to a club or to go buy okay. a drink. But if you take me to the club, uh, yeah, okay. well, <laughs> we all know what will happen. All right, okay. But um, that's just the way I am. Mm. You know, I've been described as a semi-nerd right. by my friends sometimes. Like, mm. I'd rather stay inside the room and read book and mm. read mm. about things that normal people wouldn't find interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the way I am. Okay. All right, so a lot of people came hard on t -Badge when she first came out of the house, that, ah, this girl is possessive, she's this, she's choking our, our Navy army, she's, you know, they're really on her case about yeah. your, your flings together. And like I mentioned already, I know that realities are different for us watching in the house and for yeah. you. So did you personally think as well that she was overwhelming for you or she was possessive or was it completely different? No, nah, I don't think anybody overwhelmed me in the house. You know, I was myself right. with every person and I dealt with every person depending on the energy that they brought onto me, mm. the way I would in the outside world. So for her, I just felt like um, there are things, uh, there are ways that she normally expresses her, uh, would express her mm. emotions and her feelings to one someone. Mm. And that was the way that she knew how to do it. Mm -hmm. And because of the disparities that we have with the way we express our um, feelings, mm. I guess that's why it seemed that way. But for me, it was never overwhelming yeah. or never felt well, possessive. that's what we needed to know. So, okay, so you know Big Brother fans and finding shipping people is like mm. five and six. We like it. We, in <laughs> fact, it's an obsession, really. Yeah. And after T, um, T Badge left, obviously, we moved to you and Dorothy, of course. I mean, you guys are claiming friendship. And we understand that. But is there a possibility that something romantic could actually come out of that relationship? Um, Dora's like my sister. Oh, no, I say that. It's a sister zone. It's not like Damn. a sister zone. It's not a, it's not a zone. Okay. It's just the way it is. Okay. You know, she's okay. like my sister. And I know I said that to her even in the house. Okay. Um, I would, what I would do for my sister, my younger sister, who I, I always address as the love of my life. Yeah. It's the same thing I would do to, with Dora. Oh. You get, so I love her like that. And yeah. I feel like that supersedes any kind of, Absolutely. um, shipping that my wreck. <laughs> Sometime in the future, We'd rather not shoot. Please. Fair enough. Fair you enough. like aeroplane. <laughs> All right. Okay. Before I let you go, um, I want the audience, to, in case your fans are watching, which I'm pretty sure they are. That obviously there wasn't a lot of prints that we saw. We didn't see all of prints. I mean, you you left early, earlier than normal, in my opinion. But you were not there. Your we're not you're not there your whole life. We didn't watch you as an entire being. What part of you would you say you wish? you know, came out more in Big Brother? Or what, should, what could we expect from me that we haven't seen before? 
Um, I was 100% myself. If you guys didn't see any part, then probably the camera crew didn't show you guys. Right. You get, uh, because, well, they have to show other housemates. They can't be focused on me all the time. Yeah. So that's it. I was 100% myself the way I would be. Probably, maybe you guys didn't see the part of me reading all the time and mm. studying stuff that seemed weird to the normal people. Mm. So probably when I'm doing my Snapchat series, you guys might see me, you know. Okay. And your, so your space, we're watching your space. Is there anything we need to look out for? What yes, do you want your fans yeah. to do? Watch out, watch, out for, watch out for a lot of things coming from me, you know, because I believe I have a lot to give to the world. I you think know? so too. So, yeah, stay tuned. All righty. Thank you so much, Prince. This Thank you for fun. having me. Join this conversation on social media with the hashtag Tea Time or Twitter at us at Plus TV Africa. Remember, you can catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. You can also watch Tea Time on RTTV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you, as always, go to my guest, Handsome Prince, and the entire production team. My name is Ifeo Mai. Stay safe, guys. Bye.